All right, Gene, let's bring a couple of uh, experts into the conversation to uh, help us sort through yesterday's evidence and the facts and issues of the case. Watching today with us will be former NYPD Detective Dan Austin and criminal defense attorney George Von Volakis, who is also a partner, we should hasten to point out, with Joe Tacopina's law firm. And I guess I'll start with you, George, and ask you the obvious question, given uh, who you work with. What is Melanie McGuire's best defense in your firm's view? Well, you're, uh, Jamie, hello. Um, Melanie McGuire, I think it's obvious to everyone who's been watching this trial, uh, and I think for the same reason will be obvious to the jury that her, the best defense in this case is that Melanie McGuire exudes innocence. She is a fertil fertility nurse that does not have an evil bone in her body, let alone someone that would be capable of killing and dismembering the father of her children. Uh, and I think that, that the defense in this case is going to be that, coupled with the fact that there is absolutely no motive in this case. But, but uh, George, you know what? better than anyone, prosecutors don't have to prove a motive. And she was having an affair, not, uh, well, actually a crime in a lot of jurisdictions, but certainly not a capital offense. Uh, a jury, though, might find it to be mur motive for murder. Right. Well, the prosecution does not have to prove motive. But, uh, Jamie, what a jury wants to hear in a murder case in a situation where they're going to be sending someone to jail possibly for the rest of their lives they want to hang their hats on something concrete they want to know or figure out why this person did this why would someone go through the trouble of killing someone and and dismembering the body when they could just leave that person get a divorce there are a million ways to 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 uh, end a relationship uh, an unhappy relationship other than murder